So, High Guardian Spice actually came out. I never thought that I would actually have the opportunity to make a review about the series, but here I am exactly doing that. Hey everyone, I'm Kiyoshi, and I'm actually back to commentating on stuff. Today, we'll be going over High Guardian Spice. Now, to everyone's shock, the series has actually been produced and published for people to watch. This series has been out for a while and has easily become one of the most hated animated series out there. Now here comes the real question, why is it being hated on? Is it because of how weird the dialogue is, how the animation is messed up at times, or because of the characters? Spoilers, it's basically all of them and with a bit extra. Even with all this time, I haven't finished watching as it's really hard to stay dedicated to the show, but I'll do my best to give an overview. Of the plot. We have two main characters, Rosemary and Sage. Rosemary is a swordsman with a missing mother who is a guardian, and Sage is a mage who wants to stick with old magic instead of new magic. Later on, we meet Parsley and Time, two other important characters to the story. They all go to school like your average anime and work on becoming guardians. Now, with that done, let's talk about the characters themselves. Let's first start off with the designs. Rosemary outfit seems to be inspired by anime magical girls, but way toned down, which is fine as having an extremely high color contrast would look weird for the show. My problem is the waste of potential. The outfit could have been able to leave a better impression if the outfit had more armor or other traits considering that the character wants to be a warrior or a knight of some kind. Now let's move on to Sage. I think her outfit is the most lazy in the entire show. Her outfits had no interesting color palette, no special charm and no special gimmick whatsoever. Sage has the most wasted potential. Now with Parsley and Time, I think they have the best designs with Parsley be on top. Their outfits are actually somewhat interesting and they actually describe the character a bit more at first glance. Let's now move on to the animation. The animation are very stiff at times and there are a lot of animation errors. The characters seem to be above the background which should be extremely weird in some scenes in another scene you could just tell how weird the foreground objects look just look at that bread another part i want to add is how inconsistent the animation is in one scene you could clearly see the sword being thrown to her when the next the sword magically shows up it's just bad and it makes me wonder were they communicating at all when animating the show next let's go on to the dialogue the dialogue is either very boring or very stupid sounding. I didn't want to just use the easy way. Blah, 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 blah. Old magic is sacred. What's the sacred part, Slab? Sweating into plants instead of going to lunch? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yes. And for whatever reason, the character Rosemary has a tendency to make these weird sounds. It's not cute, it's not funny, and it's just annoying to hear. Now a set of dialogues I want to focus on is this one. Rose and I are girls. You and Amaryllis are a different story. In any case, guys just don't understand that the bond between girls is just deeper. And that, I'm a girl. You couldn't possibly understand. Girls and guys and guys and girls and girls and... <sighs> I'm so When I first heard it, it got me laughing. Why are they throwing shades on guys' relationships? Talking about feeling isn't a girl thing to do. Also, saying that a girl's bond is deeper than a guy's is extremely funny to me. What are the creators trying to prove by adding in this dialogue? Have they ever seen two close friends before? Look, it's normal for people to talk about their feelings. Either they be a guy girl, non-binary, anybody could talk about feelings whatsoever. Now, let's talk about a certain character, Professor Cassaway. This character is trans. Now, I have no problem with the character being trans. My problem is the dialogue. Is, is that your sister? It's me, actually. You are a girl? <laughs> I'm transgender. I don't know that word. I was born into a female body but it wasn't the right body for me. This character straight out tells them that they are trans and what transgender is. It's an extremely boring and wasted opportunity and it could have been more interesting if more thought was put into it. This is my problem with the dialogues. It's either weird or doesn't sound natural at all. 
Most of the time, they're either making weird noises or sentences that don't make sense. Now, let me summarize my opinion. The plot is generic, the character designs are lazy, the animation has too many errors and look weird, and lastly, the dialogue is unnatural. Do I think this show sucks? Yes, I certainly do, full heartedly. And if the show ever wanted to get better, here's three things I think they should take into account. First off, let's start with the man-hating. What are you trying to prove by having these dumb dialogue about how men are like this and how men are like that? If you're going to make a show about inclusion and acceptance, make sure to actually include everyone and not throw shade to a certain set of people. Secondly, the writing. Actually think about the writing and the plot. Will this event or dialogue have some sort of impact on the plot or character? If it does, how can it be made to be more interesting? Simple questions like these can go a long way if people thought more critically about them. And lastly, the animation. From what I can tell, the animators are either not communicating with one another or simply don't care. There are way too many animation mistakes, especially for a studio who wants to publish a serious project. That's basically all I wanted to say about High Guardian Spice. So, yeah. Thank you for watching my low quality video.